hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is ifnaya and if you're new on this channel you're welcome i share sewing tutorials fashion tips and everything around sewing niche on this channel and to my returning subscribers thank you so much guys for stopping by so today i'm going to be sharing with you guys most important tools you need as a beginner if you're a beginner you want to learn how to sew this video is for you please don't forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed and let's get right into the video Guys, the first on the list is a sewing machine. You definitely need a sewing machine to be able to sew. And this right here is a manual sewing machine. It doesn't really require electricity for you to make use of it. And this one right here is an industrial machine. It uses electricity. And this also, a tabletop machine also uses electricity. So next on the list is a pair of scissors. You definitely need a pair of scissors to be able to cut out what you want to sew. And next on the list is bobbin. We also call it ruler. So this is ruler for a manual machine. And then... This one right here is a villa for industrial machine so i hope you can note the difference so next on the list is bobbin case i also call it shuttle most tailors call it shuttle and this shuttle right here is shuttle for manual machine and then this one right here is the shuttle for industrial machine so next on the list is tailor's chalk you definitely need tailor's chalk to be able to mark out what you want to cut out on your pattern paper and next on the list is measuring tools this right here is an is an example of measuring tape and they come in different colors as well and here we have our armhole curve armhole curve is used to draft out armhole on your pattern papers and this right here is ruler so you also need a ruler as well the next on the list is sewing needle and this right here is a sample of honey needle and we use honey needle for a lot of things we use it to fix buttons to clothes we use it to make stitches and so many other things and this right here is uh, a sample of a machine needle and we use machine needle to sew you fix it to your sewing machine and they come in different sizes as well so next on the list is pin so you definitely need pin for a lot of things this right here is a sample of safety pin we use it for a lot of things while sewing and the office pin you definitely need office pins as well so next on the list is seam ripper or razor blade so this right here is a picture of what the seam ripper looks like it's used to loosen stitches and make button holes on your dresses and here we have our razor blade so you can also use your razor blade or your seam ripper depending on which one is more convenient for you so next is pattern paper and as a beginner you need your pattern paper to be able to draft out styles before you cut them out on your clothes and here we have our thread as a beginner you also need your thread which is very very important so next on the list is machine oil you need your machine oil to be able to lubricate your machine so it doesn't go stiff so next on the list is your writing materials which is your book and your pen and as a beginner you need this because you're going to have a lot of jottings to do so you don't forget and when you're learning some pattern drafting and all you can sketch them on your book so that you don't forget so that's the essence of having a book and pen so next is the pressing iron and this right here is an example of electric iron you use iron for a lot of things you use iron to iron your interface you use it to iron your clothes after making them you use it to iron your bra cup your essay your hemming gum so many things the iron is, is very very important in sewing and this right here is a picture of the charcoal iron you can actually work with this if you like it's just depending on what is most suitable for you and this right here is an example of the industrial pressing iron but personally i like working with normal electric iron so next is fabric i mean what is sewing without fabric as a beginner you don't really have to get the most expensive fabric you just need something that is going to just come out nice since you are still a beginner you just need something that is going to come out well at the end of the day okay guys we've come to the end of this video thank you so much guys for watching please let me know what you think about this video in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed and i'll see you all in my next video bye